Hi everyone, Marine here for a new long fun video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to make this waffle themed pull tab card and its matching tweed back topper. I was actually inspired by this double slider surprise card I shared during the Valentine inspiration and release week. We have this cute scene with the toaster and waffle. And when you pull the tabs, we have some waffle friends joining the fun. And they're all ready for breakfast. So let's see what we are going to need today. We have the super cute a waffle lot. Thanks a latte for the foamy, creamy topping. Let's toast for the toaster, knife, butter and happy faces. Sweet friends for the plate and the arms and legs. Porcupine for you for some hearts. Sent with love for the heart banner and the envelope. And the add-on for the chocolate strawberry. O gnome for the speech bubble. Baked with love for the sugar sprinkler. We have the Let's Toast pull tab add-on. The strip die from Picket Fence. The smallest simple wavy banner die. The largest stitched rectangle stackable die. And for the treat back topper, I am going to use the largest stitched scalloped square frame die and the largest outside in stitched square stackable die. So, you may or may not know it, but I like to stamp and cut all my images first. It gives me an idea of the final scene. And today I need to know where my toaster will go. I decided it would go right in the center of my scene. So to create the interactive feature, I am first going to mark the top of my toaster with a pencil. Next, with the help of my ruler, I am also marking the center of the top long side. And from that pencil mark at the top, I am going to trace a line down to the first mark I did, just like that. Now from the Let's Toast pull tab add-on, I am going to use the notch die and the straight slot die. First, I am placing the notch die just like that, with both arms resting against the edge of the panel. I am using washi tape to keep my die in place. And next, I am going to place the slot die on the vertical pencil line making sure that the top of the die is on the first pencil mark we did, the one right above the toaster. Again, I am using washi tape to keep everything in place, and I am sending my panel to my die cutting machine. So here we go, the slot is cut and the notch at the top is cut as well. I am keeping the small piece because I will put it back in place at the end. And now I am going to erase my pencil lines quickly. We don't want them to show in our scene. Next, I had this wood grain piece all assembled in my stash, probably from a previous card, and it eventually didn't make it to the final cut, but it will be perfect to ground today's little scene. I am just attaching it using liquid glue, and then we are going to do some coloring. So my stamped and die cut images are back. I am going to color everything using my alcohol markers. And for the toaster, I am going to use this one. I stamped it on a piece of spiffy or speckles paper, and I will fussy cut it later in the video. When I use my alcohol markers, I like to go from the darker shade to the lightest shade. Here I am adding a dark red first. Next, a medium red, and finally, a light red.
So we are done with the coloring and now we just need to fussy cut the pink toaster. Next, I will color the edges of my fussy cut element using my black memento pen. And then I will stick it to the final toaster using liquid glue. So now let's continue to work on the interactive feature. I want a waffle to pop from the toaster. So from the Let's Toast pull tab add-on, I am going to use the second slot, the curved one. I am just lining it up between the two lines on the top section of the toaster. A couple of washi tape pieces to keep the die in place. And then a quick run through my die cutting machine. Next, I cut the pull tab piece out of the same paper as the toaster and I cut the sleeve as well. So first, let's fold the score lines at the bottom of the pull tab piece and next I will do the same on the sleeve piece. Now we pinch those two pieces and we are going to fit them through the slot from the back of the panel. And we want the tab to stay straight when we pull it. So we are going to use the sleeve to get that straight pull tab. I am going to add liquid glue on that middle square. And then I am placing the sleeve behind the tab and right below the notch with the sticky side facing the panel. So the sleeve is attached to the panel. Now we need to close it using liquid glue again on that small tab. So now the pull tab is secured and it will stay straight when we pull it. Now with the pull tab on its lower spot, we are going to trim the top just like that. And I am also going to glue the small piece that goes at the very top of the tab. This way we get a whole cohesive look. I added small pieces of double-sided tape on the upper half of each small tab, right there. And I am going to attach a waffle on those tabs. So I am peeling the backing papers off and I am going to line up the top of the waffle with the top of the tabs. Before attaching the toaster, I am just going to check if everything is okay. And it's barely noticeable, but on each side of the waffle, we can see some pink from the tabs showing. So I am just going to trim a little bit of those tabs. Next, one more test. And the pink is gone, so I am going to add a couple of 2mm foam squares at the back of the toaster on each side and a 1mm foam square behind each foot. Next, I can feed the waffle inside the toaster and glue the toaster in place, making sure it's all lined up. Another test to triple check if it's working properly. And before sticking all the images around my toaster, I am going to attach my panel to a white card base using 2mm foam squares. I put them all all over the back of my panel and I made sure to stay away from the pull tab. Now it's time to assemble our waffles. Let's give them arms and legs, some cream and a strawberry and some melted butter. And when they're all done, I will attach all my images on my panel using a combination of 1mm and 2mm from squares and liquid glue as well.
For my sentiment, I wanted something light. So I white hit embossed my Yo Waffly Cute greeting on a wavy vellum banner. And because glue tends to show on vellum, I am using some clear squares. I put them behind the words, and when you stick the banner, those squares are barely noticeable. So to finish the card, I added white blizzard nouveau drops on some hearts. Added highlights and details to the images, eyes and cheeks using a white gel pen. And I glued a white arrow at the top of the tab to let the recipient know what they have to do. So now let's quickly assemble our treat back topper. Very simple. I used the same papers as my card to cut my frame and square. And I am just going to attach the frame on the square using liquid glue. And next, I am going to score a line right in the middle of my square, folding it in half, and that's it. Well, you saw on the thumbnail that I'm going to add images on that panel, but it's the basic shape. I am stamping I like you a waffle lot at the bottom of one side. And then I am going to add a couple of waffles, some hearts and an envelope. I colored those extra images using the same colors as before, and I am using 1mm foam squares to attach them on my panel. So here I have some waffle biscuits in a plastic bag. I closed it using double-sided tape, and I added more double-sided tape on both sides at the top of my bag, and I am just going to wrap my topper on the bag. And our projects for today are all done. I really love how everything turned out, especially the treat bag topper, it looks so cute. I love those fun waffles too, with all the yummy treats on them. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice day and see you next time. Bye.